what's up y'all welcome back to my channel yes today is my birthday i just wanted to let y'all know it is august 2nd um yes it is august 2nd the best day ever i was born a queen a queen a queen anyways today i am gonna be talking about y'all know school is right around the corner and i don't know what y'all are doing online or in school y'all have i graduated so y'all have to let me know but my school and college we are doing online so y'all let me know what y'all are doing for y'all school i'm super interested to see what what y'all are doing i did a high school emergency kit must have for people who are going to school if you are not going to school i'm gonna get i'm gonna help y'all out we are gonna look at what you might need at home to do some online schooling okay also you guys i wish y'all the best of luck whether you're going online school or whether you're actually going to school i wish y'all the best of luck and i hope y'all stay safe healthy and blessed and let's go ahead and get into the video so you're gonna want to have a workspace with like a comfortable chair more, more than likely i mean a, any chair will do but you can be there for a minute and for days and days and days doing your schoolwork so i would prefer it to be as comfortable as you can get it i also recommend having a separate workspace for your schoolwork you know i honestly really don't recommend doing homework in your bed or even in your room unless you have like a desk doing homework in your bed is not a good idea at all huh have i done it yes has it gone okay no because i went to sleep um but literally your bed is where you sleep where you rest you do not want to do your homework in your bed because you will end up going to sleep um so i recommend going to like a dining table or kitchen table kitchen counter um if you have a desk in your room or an office space in your house something like that where you can strictly focus on school like that is your school area that way your mind knows that's your school area it knows when you get to that area that it's school time not when you get in your bed and it thinks like you're about to go to sleep because it's not gonna work just trust me and you're also gonna need like software or like you're gonna need a personal device whether that be like an ipad like yeah we have our phones but that's not really going to cut it yeah we have our phones but that's not really going to cut it for all the schoolwork that you're needing to do i highly 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 recommend having your own computer or your own laptop of course not everyone can get or have their own personal computer or laptop and that's fine um, but you're gonna need some kind of device that will allow you to get online to access the schoolwork and to access um, your teachers and, and the resources that you're gonna need and be able to download software and apps that you may need. You can always ask your school, ask your teacher what you may need and what they might prefer. And some schools even have devices that you can rent off of them. Like my district had iPads for us and I got my iPad eighth grade and um they rent ipads to you until you graduate so some may have that or some may have a, a school issued laptop that you might be able to be that you might be able to use it's just i feel like it's just good to have your own personal laptop but just my opinion um do what you can um just highly recommend you're also going to want to have like earbuds or earphones headphones whatever just because um your teacher might have you watching like a video and then you answer questions or you might be on like a zoom call or something and you might not want everybody in the house to hear your call so you might want to put your earbuds in or whatever you want to do i don't think it's like mandatory but it might help you you're gonna want to have a printer and some paper um it might not be like necessary like your teacher might not give you work that you need to print out but it may be easier if there's like a worksheet or something. It may e be easier for you to print it out and text them or send them a picture of it instead of trying to write that online. Just um, a suggestion. You're still going to need your traditional school supplies. Like you're still going to need probably like um, notebooks and stuff like that. You may not need as much, but you're going to need notebooks still, pencils, 
um, rulers, stuff that you would normally use in the classroom. And also your teacher should tell you about this. Your teacher should let you know what you need for the class but i would definitely start out with the basics um you don't necessarily need a backpack if you're doing online school but i feel like it'll be easier just to keep all your school stuff in one area instead of having it scattered out you can just hold it in a bag and take it to your desk pull it out do your work put it back up whatever just to keep it, you know yourself organized tidy keep all your school stuff in one place i recommend having a planner even though you're not going to be in an actual school um i i do recommend having a planner because it's gonna really help you plan out when stuff is due which some some schools may have everything due at the end of the week or some may have stuff due on specific days you're still gonna have tests more than likely and quizzes and homework so i think having a planner would just be easier to plan out your days especially if if you have a life outside of school like if you have like school work etc like you're gonna want to have a planner wi-fi like i i know i mentioned the the computer but you also need a wi-fi connection um because you know your teachers are going to be sending stuff out and you're probably going to need wi-fi more than likely so that's just a key point i thought it was common sense but i just wanted to mention that now we're kind of getting off of like the talk of school supplies now we're getting onto the talk of like how to keep yourself going during online school you guys this is important i know it's hard i know it's like a change i know it's different make sure that you're talking to your instructors when you need to like if you need help if you have a question like they're still here like regular school it's just virtually so make sure that if you have a question or if you're confused um, or if you need help make sure you're reaching out to them because they're here still for you um, and you don't want to get caught lacking or you don't want to get caught like not knowing something and then not getting the help that you need you might want to start like a group chat maybe with like the students that you have in your class just to keep each other on board um, maybe like share some thoughts about the homework remind each other when stuff is due or if y'all have questions you send in the group chat um, so yeah make sure you keep yourself productive like wake up you don't have to wake up at 6 a.m like you're actually going to school but i do recommend still waking up at a good time just so you get a good head start and that you can finish your schoolwork and that you still have the rest of the day to do what else you may need to ask questions i did that make make sure your instructor is actually doing the job and giving you the correct information if you have to email them 30 times in a day do it do it's their it. job they're getting paid for it don't hesitate don't ever hesitate if you don't have their email get their email i don't know how i have to call the school i have to email someone to get their email i don't know um make sure that you plan ahead of time there are going to be hiccups there are going to be bumps in the road there are going to be times when um it's not gonna go as smooth um so just plan ahead and have like a game plan of like if this happens like this is how i'll fix it or this is how i like, cope with it make sure like even though you have online school make sure you're still taking time for yourself though don't get so stressed out and overwhelmed over this online school like i promise y'all it's gonna be okay i honestly felt the same way when we started online school I, I was a nervous wreck sometimes because I was like, oh my gosh, like this might not work. This. So you're gonna get through it, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, so that is pretty much all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. I hope this kind of prepared y'all a little bit for what's coming up. Um, honestly don't beat yourself up this is going to be new for everybody we're starting out your we're starting out the the school year online um so this is like new for everyone don't beat yourself up don't get too worked up over it because you're gonna have people there to help you and just know that you're not in this alone if you ever need to talk you can comment or feel free to dm me on instagram i always answer unless it's like something that i'm like what do i even say to this I usually answer if people have questions um so don't hesitate to answer um whether you're going to online school or whether you are going to school i hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful school year and stay safe and healthy Take the right precautions to keep yourself safe and healthy um and continue to social distance and wear your masks y'all have a blessed and beautiful day don't forget if you can dream it 
you can achieve it let me hear you you can achieve it now let's get this bread all day every day hey hey all day every day ah, ah, and we out